Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back guys, Drill here. And I'm Josh. And we have some comic book slash TV news announcement that we just got from Angela Kang. Yeah guys, so uh, during the past weekend, uh, New York City Comic Con had a virtual event uh, for the Walking Dead showrunners. All of them were on a virtual event talking everything The Walking Dead. They also had uh, kind of a chat room for fans to kind of submit their questions in. And Angela Kang messaged out saying, Here's Negan fans, we'll be happy soon. <laughs> Whoa! We had been wanting them to do a Here's Negan backstory. Now, uh, the best place I think for them to do it is with the, the, the Tales of the Walking Dead, the anthology. That's the best place. Yeah. There were rumors that they could be doing it for the one of the six additional episodes. No. It's a backstory of, yeah. of Negan. You can't I, do that in the in the you, six additional episodes. No, you, it would you, make no sense. You can't do that in one episode. No, you cannot do no it in way. one episode. No way. Um, but dude, can you imagine? So for those of you that don't know, and I'm not going to give the whole story of what happened here in Here's Negan, but Here's Negan is a spinoff of the comic book series yep. um, that shows Negan's backstory from the point of uh, a little bit before the apocalypse mm -hmm. um, and then the event of the apocalypse and then the events leading up to him forming the saviors. Yes, guys. So can you imagine... Getting that moment where he actually forms the saviors yes. and becomes the badass Negan that we know. Go pick up the book, guys. So we will tell you kind of spoiler alert for right now. It's not going to be major story spoilers, but we are going to tell you that you will be seeing some characters in this that he meets. So the major character that he does meet and they need to get back is Austin Emilio who yeah. plays Dwight? Yes. Because Dwight and Sherry are the number, the two people that he meets immediately. Yep. But guys, I mean, it is an amazing story, and this would be an awesome way to do it in the Tales of the Walking Dead. At least, let's say, six episodes. You could, yeah, you do it in six episodes. Stretch yeah. it out. Yeah. Make it. Yeah. Oh, you could definitely do it. You know who would come back? Lucille. No. <laughs> no. 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 Simon. Oh, they could throw Simon in there. Because, yeah. Here, they look, he forms the saviors, but his right-hand man. Well, actually, I think it, it, they could do that. I think they should probably... I'm thinking how they did it is he formed it early on with Dwight. Simon came in a little later. No, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, but, but they still, still could throw Simon that, in. They still, still they bring could Steven it. Ogg back. Because yeah, that actor is amazing. They could definitely change it up, have like Dwight and Steven together, and then they, they, come, they run into Negan for the first time. It's an amazing story. It, yeah. it would be so great to get these uh, actors back, Austin Emilio and Steven, or even Steven Ogg too. But... Um, also, uh, uh, Angela King tweeted or messaged back to a fan saying, waiting for Lucille. So I'm not sure if she's talking about waiting for Lucille the bat or look, waiting for Lucille the actress. Yeah, because... Who trying to cast yeah, as Lucille. Yeah, Lucille, his wife, does play a small part in Here's Negan. She actually yeah. plays a major part, but she's only present in Here's Negan for... Yeah. A few panels. A few panels. Uh, but anyway, um, the casting of her role would is, is very big for Here's Negan. So yeah. the fact that she puts waiting on Lucille, I'm guessing it's a casting. Yeah. So, I mean, you might think, well, is, is the casting that really important because, you know, she does die? Well, if you do the backstory, you can stretch that out. You can show the time before the apocalypse for a while of what Negan and his wife were doing and then leading up to it because... His wife is a focal point of who he is, of why he started the Saviors, why he names his bat Lucille. Yeah. All of that is rolled into Negan, so you have to show that character, show his wife, because she is a very important part to him. Yeah. Um, I, I hope they do this, man. They, I do, they too. They have to I, do I it. I do, too. I mean... Do you think that leads us to a path where we no longer get Jeffrey Dean Morgan reprising his role in the flagship show? I, in if you're, in my mm. opinion, I think it does. I think that depending these, on how they do the com the the, the yeah. series finale, I think that guys, I think that what we're gonna get in these extra six episodes, I think is going to be the exit of Jeffrey Dean Morgan from the flagship series. Yeah, I just don't think there's anything more for Negan to do, especially with Maggie returning. He'll exit, but then we'll get this 
show as kind of a nod to the fans that, you know, Negan's not done, we still have this. Right. Um, I, I think we mentioned it in our Commonwealth video that we just posted. Uh, I can't remember if we did or not, but Negan does not play any part in no. the Commonwealth story in the comic no. book. So, yes, they could rewrite it. I mean, like, if you watched our video, there's a lot of changes in that story that they're not able to do due to characters. Or that they could do because they need to mix it up. Yeah, so, I mean... They could, like, maybe end his story in the six additional episodes, and then maybe if they want to do something crazy in the Commonwealth, like do a 20-year time jump and show old Negan hanging out with Judith or something, or yeah. him and Rick hanging out if they get oh, back God, together. That'd be awesome. You know what I'm saying? That'd be like, awesome. Do that, but I think his main story no. is nothing there. I personally would love to see another scene between him and Maggie. A lot and, of people are saying that. And, and just simply, just him acknowledging, look, Maggie... I cannot continue to be here and mm -hmm. face you as a man knowing what I did. Right. I have to leave. Yeah. I, I think that would be an amazing scene. A lot of people have been saying that or saying how, you know, how is Maggie really going to react seeing Negan out and about? You know, for me, it's like, well, she's already kind of forgiven him. She had it. She kind of did it in the comic book. She had a shot to kill him. She didn't do it. And she said, okay, go be on your way. That was in the comic books. But yeah, it'd be interesting how they do it in the show. Will she be fine? I think she would be, but... Well, um, in the series finale, they were 10, 10 feet away from each other. That is true. I think yes. they were in the same They were in the same area. area. They yeah. just cut to the different characters, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, so... But, guys, let us know what you think. If you're big fans of Negan, they should definitely do this backstory. If you haven't picked up Here's Negan yet... Go to your local comic book shop. I think you can also find the, the book in Barnes & Noble. Yep. I'm sure you can find it online as well. Read it. It is an amazing read if you want to know what this story would be about and turning into live action. I, we think it would be an absolute blast because if you... And also, oh man, AMC. I want it to be unedited for Negan. But AMC would AMC, AMC do would that. not I, do that. Know, it, they did it for season seven, I think. They did it on Blu-ray. They on Blu-ray unedited. His uh, the lineup speech was fully unedited, but they they have to do more unedited with Negan because his lines in that book are absolutely amazing and they are vulgar because yes, of very, Negan. Very, very. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Leave the comment below. Leave the video a quick like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more. For here's Negan. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're an awkward nation. We're, We're out. out.